In this video, I'm going to show you a Square POS tutorial. Square POS is a popular, user-friendly point-of-sale system perfect for retail stores, restaurants, and small businesses. So in this video, I'm going to cover everything from setting up your Square account to processing sales and tracking inventory. So by the end of this video, you'll know how to use Square POS effectively to manage transactions, inventory, and customer relationships. So first, what is Square POS? Square POS is a cloud-based point-of-sale system that helps businesses manage sales, accept payments, track inventory, and engage with customers. Known for its simple interface and affordability, Square POS is ideal for small and medium-sized businesses, including retail stores, cafes, and service providers. It offers a free version of the POS software and the hardware like card readers and registers. Can be customized based on your business needs. Square Payments ensures you can accept a variety of payment methods, including credit cards, mobile wallets, and contactless payments. So now let's move on to our dashboard. So when you create your account, you will see your dashboard that looks like this. So to set up your account, you'll need to complete this line right here. So what you want to do is, as you can see, you will see this account. You can complete your account in four steps and the Square POS in two steps. So just click here on view all steps. So this is your what this is what your setup will look like. So let's click on account. So you need to do this to set up your account. So you need to customize your receipts, how they look and what they say. So let's say let's click this. So this is what your branding would look like. So you need to apply your branding, your logo, items in total, your contact, such as your phone number, your Facebook link, Instagram link, Twitter link, or your website, and additional text. So if you fill all of this up, you'll need to click on save in the lower right, and it costs right here. This is how it costs. So let's just go back. As you can see, that's what you need to do first. So you need to customize your receipts, set up your taxes, add a location, and set up business details to manage multiple locations. And now you can explore this software. So you'll explore the Square suite of tools to help you run and grow your business. So when you complete all of this, this blue bar will go up until you, it reaches 100%. Next is you want to complete this Square POS. So you need to order the hardware and download the app. So when you're done all of that, so here in your home dashboard, you'll see the key metrics. As you can see, key metrics versus prior Friday. So you'll see uh, per your performance right here. So you'll see your customers, total customers, returning customers. You'll see payment types, so whether your customers have paid in card, cash, or other. You'll also see your items right here, so you'll need to set up your items. And also, your online store is ready. You can preview your site. So you can claim your site right here. As you can see, this, will how, this is how it would look like. So this is just a preview of what your store will look like. So next, let's go to our reports. So from here, you'll see a bunch of different reports, such as the sales summary, the sales trends. You also see uh, payment methods. So as you can see in sales trends, you'll see a graph that looks like this. You'll see your gross sales. So this is the last seven days versus the seven days prior. Of course, you can uh, change the filters if you want. Next is payment methods. So you'll see the transactions right here. Next is item sales, category sales, discounts, modifier sales. So you'll just see a bunch of different reports right here.
So now we can go to transactions. So see, we still don't have any transactions yet. But if you're already using a Square POS, of course, you'll see all of the transactions right here. Next is items. So from here, you'll see your item library. So if you don't have any item yet, or you want to add your item or product, just click here on create an item and fill up all of this information. So you can add the details. You can uh, select the photo or image you want. For this item, you can add the description and add the location, categorization options, the unit, the variations, custom attributes. Of course, you can edit all of this uh, information for your item. So when you're done, just click on save in the top right and you have now create, successfully created your item. So I'm just going to go back. From here, you can also see your channel listings, your service library, image library. So if you have uploaded a bunch of different images for your items, you will see all of it right here in your image library. You can see modifiers too, categories, discounts, options, units, custom attributes, and of course, the settings. So in the settings, you will see your dining options your comp and void, and your inventory. So next, let's go to customer directory. From here, you'll see your customer directory in one place. As you can see, you can click here to see your directory. So if you don't have any customers yet, of course, you can create your customer right here just by filling this information. So if you want to import your customers, so you don't want to add customers one by one, of course, you can click on import customers. So you can download the template. So this will show you the template on how you can set it up on your Excel file. So you want to convert that to a CSV file. So when you're done editing it all in that file, you can now click on here on import customers. And as you can see, files must be formatted as a CSV file. And now you can drag and drop your file right here, and it will automatically um, add all of the uh, customers from that file here in your Square POS. You can also see the customer feedback right here, and of course, the settings for your customers. So basically, that's all of the features of Square POS. So if you want to use this efficiently, just feel free to explore for all of the features. And in no time, you can now use Square POS in your business. So that's basically all for this video. So if you find this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.